making something. You got plans? I have plans. But it doesn't say what. I was gonna buy it, but I decided to DIY it. <laughs> <laughs> Buy it or DIY? Buy it or DIY it. Buy it or DIY it. I like that. And it is something that we need. Okay. And I just so happened to have all of this lumber left from other projects. Yes. And I just so happened to have a whole bunch of tools. I see you have the saw set up. Do you need me to cut something? Yes, please. I I prefer you to do the big sheets, especially when we're in here. So I do need, oh, ooh, that might be a hint for the video. Ooh, we'll see. Okay, so I need a 24 by 64 inch piece. So what I'm building is actually pretty big. Okay. So, okay, and then that piece, I it is, I think a six inch board. I need it ripped to three and a half inches wide. So I already cut the length on the miter, but I need it ripped on the table saw. I love how you have no idea what I'm making. I don't. Well, when you see the price tag- I didn't tag... understand the hint either. <laughs> I don't know what you're- I'm confused. What I don't I... think I said anything and you're like, that's a hint. Well, when you see the price tag of what it would have cost to buy it, you're gonna be really happy that we're DIY. <laughs> okay, three and a half? Yes, please. I'll just double check your measurements. <laughs> Measure twice, cut one. <laughs> he uses finger measurements and oh then cuts. Oh my gosh, I'm like, wait, this says... We're good now. I've had hundreds of comments, direct messages on Instagram, emails. Why are you not working in your studio? Why are you working in the dining room? What are you doing? You're crazy. Why are you cutting these things in the house? Well, first of all, we're still waiting on inspection for the studio. So hold off because of everything with the world issues, we haven't been able to get to that yet. We're working on the inside. And if you notice, if you look around in the background of our video here, we have no furniture. Do you know why we have no furniture? Should we tell them why we have no yes, furniture? Yes, yes. Okay, well, you know we've been minimalizing. So we have sold all of our furniture. The only piece of furniture that's in this great big living room, dining room here is our couches. And this table, which I only kept so that we could actually finish our DIYs in here, over the next couple of weeks because we have two gigantic projects that we're working on. What? Two? Uh, two over the next couple of weeks. Actually, we have three pretty big projects, but I'm gonna be building some furniture. We're doing a complete living room and this room that we're working in right now, complete overhaul of these spaces. Mm -hmm. So many DIYs and complete renovations. So we actually literally only have couches on this main floor. <laughs> There's no furniture in here. So yes, that's why we're cutting in here, but we can still work in here, which is great because it's a super bad snowstorm today. So I'm glad that we have the option of working inside. Okay, let's keep building. I need to get this clean up first. <laughs> I had to answer those questions because there were so many, so many comments asked. It's just more fun for me when you don't know what I'm gonna make. <laughs> for me. <laughs> and he's like, 64 inches? What are you making? It seems large. Yep. Okay. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not worried. Have faith. I'm intrigued. <laughs> You're intrigued? This yeah. is more fun for you too? No! This is <laughs> not more fun. Okay, YouTube family, Philip hates surprises. Absolutely. He hates them. I'm building a base for whatever it is I'm making, which I'm not going to tell you yet. <laughs> And I normally would do this out of two by twos. Right. But I'm using two by fours because I need it to be extra strong because of what's gonna go on top of this. What? So the example that I could buy online was built a lot more lightweight. So I would say they use two by twos. I'm gonna up that to two by fours because I know there's gonna be some weight on this. And then the example that I saw online had something much smaller on top of it. So I do wanna make sure this is extra sturdy. So I'm kind of overkilling the durability of this, but you'll see in the end why I did that because what's gonna go on it is pretty precious to me. So I wanna make sure that it has the weight that it can hold onto it. But what I'm gonna do is make a base. So I want my base to be smaller than what my outside part's gonna be. And so I'm going to shorten it just a little bit. Basically make a large rectangle out of two by fours. Oh, and I don't want any hardware to show. And so I need to make sure that my flat surfaces are on the front and the back not seen visibly where I will have to screw in from the side. Have you figured out what I'm doing yet? No idea. Okay. Thank you, McNaughton's, because we got all the lumber there last week and I keep building more things with it, okay? I know your husband loves you when you can just build in the dining room. <laughs> you build whatever you gotta do, hon. You just do it. <laughs> I just hope one of these DIYs, it will be the living room and dining yeah, room. Yeah, it will be, yeah. Coming up next. <laughs> to measure how wide they are put together so I know how long to make the parts that are going between my rectangles. So 
these butted together are three inches, 24, so 21 inches, I need to cut two pieces. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Are you, do you know what you're building? I know what I'm building. I just want to map it out so that I'm following a picture. I have no plans. Right. So I'm... Is like, this something that maybe we should have purchased? No! Oh! You can always DIY! Okay! A little ingenuity <laughs> and some creativity and a little extra love and okay. you can do it. <laughs> so no buy, no DIY. No buy, DIY. We're this saving one will, money here. This one will turn out. Did I do good? You did so good. Okay. You did really good. Honey? No, you did good. Oh, you stinker. <laughs> Thank you. Couldn't stand it up, it's taller than the room. <laughs> this is a one by six that I'm using. Okay, I figured it out. I know what you're building. But I'm not gonna say because if our YouTube family hasn't figured it out, <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and the air pig speaks. I only figured it out because when I was cutting some of the things, you were putting it together and I saw what you were building. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Don't tell our YouTube family yet. Okay, so this is the first piece that we ripped here that we actually made more narrow, and it's going to be this finishing edge at the front. We want to mark and know exactly how wide we did that. You like it? I love it, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it looks so cool. They love being up on benches. Should we tell them what I'm making now? They yeah, haven't figured it out. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm making a three basset hound dog bed because our dogs love being up on benches and like low beds and stuff. And so I didn't want them to have like dog pillows on the floor. So they just try to get up on like benches. We built the kitchen and everything. So I thought this would be perfect. It would be up off the ground. And it has to be big enough that they can all lay together because they always want to be snuggling together. So I thought this would be super cute. But I have a really amazing idea for how to do the pillow inside so that it can actually come out and go in the wash all the time because with three basset hounds, things need to get washed and be able to fabric could get washed all the time. So that's gonna be my next step once I get this sanded and clear coated. But I love it and super inexpensive to make. So what I'm gonna do now is to a uh, protection clear coat on here. Oh, hi girls, <laughs> hi. So they discovered I was making them a bed, <laughs> coming up. So I'm gonna put a clear coat on this. I'm making sure it's a non-yellowing and I just wanna leave it pine because I think that's gonna be the best look for what I wanna do with the nautical pillows that's gonna go on here. And so this is just uh, an acrylic polyurethane wood finish. I used it for all my furniture. I already have it, so we're gonna put it on here. I'm just gonna roll it on or paint it on with a brush.
Good. Drool worthy dog bed for our basset hounds. I'm super excited about this. I used an upcycled leftover piece of particle board. I used two one by six by eights and I used two two by four by eights. And I was able to make this, so super inexpensive project. What I did for the pillows was I used four pillows that we purchased for I think about $3 a piece a couple years ago that are kind of like worn out a little bit and we had gotten some new bedding, but I saved them because sometimes I like to cut them and make them into like lumbar pillows or something. So what I did was I just made an insert at the back so it was a little flap and you can just pull the pillows out to be able to wash the cover. And the cover is actually two large nautical printed bath towels because I thought, what type of fabric can you wash over and over and over and over and over again like I would do with a dog bed? And I thought, towels, like so much better than any other fabric, so much more durable and can get washed hundreds and hundreds of times. So that's what I did. I used two bath towels that were $6 each. And I think that's a really good deal for them. And I think it, they're super cute fabric. I'm excited that they can go in the wash. The pups are gonna love them. And we did that raised off the ground look. Just, my dogs absolutely love anything that's considered like a bench or just up off the ground. Super sturdy. Both of my kids were just sitting in it. <laughs> so I think it's a win-win, but the pups are outside playing in the mud right now. So when they dry off, they get to try out <laughs> their new uh, bed that we made, but I think it's super cute and actually my pillows are super full of air because There's about an inch space in each side So I think as it like flattens out This sort of upholstered top here will fit in a little bit better It's about an inch on each side of like give room. I gotta say I bit my tongue and this is definite DIY over buy This ah! is absolutely gorgeous, hon. You did an outstanding job. I love how job. easy it's gonna be to clean it. The is... legs give it a just a detailed look modern vibe you don't see any hardware it's super yeah, sturdy no screw holes no nothing it's absolutely gorgeous so let me know in the comment section if you think this was a buy or a diy so i looked online and to buy one that was only the size of one of these pillows for a smaller dog maybe like a little french bulldog or something um or chihuahua would have been about 300 dollars american and we use Canadian dollars because we're Canadian. So that would have been about a $400 dog bed. And look at how inexpensively I was able to make this. And I made it basically four times the size of the one that was online for, I would say under $50 for everything. And I think this is gonna last us a long time. It's so sturdy, like Philip and I could even lay in it. And super easy to wash. Pups are gonna love it. It's a win. So yeah, let me know in the comment section. I also wanna know if you guys wanna see more of a series like this buy or DIY where I look online and find something that I'm inspired to make myself and think, can I make it for less money? And how am I going to do that? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry, I kept you in suspense for the video, but it was more fun for me to not tell Philip what we were making. to <laughs> 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 keep life exciting sometimes. So yeah, buy or DIY. I think for sure for me, this was definitely a fun project to make. Not only was it cheap and expensive, it didn't take us that long and I love it. So, I, I love it. Let me know. If you're not already part of our YouTube family, be sure to hit the subscribe button. YouTube is telling us that about 60% of our viewers are subscribed. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and follow along on other DIYs that we have. We love to upcycle on this channel. So if you like that, make sure you are part of our YouTube family. Also follow Philip and I on Instagram. We're posting a lot of sneak peeks behind the scenes. I also wanted to fill you guys in on something new that we're going to be adding to the channel. YouTube is just starting something called YouTube Shorts. So if you see about really really short videos on our channel that the titles say hashtag shorts they're going to be little sneak peeks previews and really funny little things that just happen with our family that we're going to add in as content throughout of our long videos so if you want to see those let me know also if you want to see some youtube shorts we've got some things up our sleeves i love you guys thank you so much for being part of my channel and i'll see you on the next episode